One of the things about summertime flying is that heat does have an adverse effect on aircraft performance. The hotter it gets, the worse the performance is on the airplane. That Aviation expert Greg Feith says extreme heat makes the air less dense or thinner. That makes it more difficult for large airplanes to get off the ground. He says the planes get lift when the aerodynamically shaped wings come in contact with air molecules which force the aircraft upwards. The more molecules there are, the easier it is to take off. Denver International Airport already has some of the thinnest air in the country with its elevation more than a mile above sea level. Add 98 degrees of heat and the air gets even thinner. And it takes more energy to create the lift to, uh, to fly the airplane. Fife says the planes get that extra energy with faster speeds, which means extra long runways are needed for takeoff on a hot summer day in Denver. That was a major issue with the city's old airport. Back when old Stapleton was in existence, there was a lot of times where the airplanes were weight restricted. They couldn't carry enough people or gas uh, to get the airplane off the runway at that time on a hot day. He says DIA was built with high heat and thin air in mind. It has the longest runway in the country at 16,000 feet, which is more than three miles long. The other five runways at DIA are not quite as long, but still longer than the average airport at 12,000 feet long. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.